Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be learning how gear mates work. What gear mates do is force two components to rotate relative to each other. Now keep in mind that this isn't a physical interaction between the components, it's just a simulation. In my graphic area, I've got two gears, one with a greater number of teeth and one with fewer teeth. The components can be any kind of component, they just need to have an axis of rotation. Let's begin by activating the mate tool. Expand the mechanical mate section and select gear. First thing I'm going to do is make the construction circles behind these wheels visible. And for the second gear, right click and show. Now I'm going to select the construction circles. Ratio values 120 in the first box and 70 millimeters in the second box. If we want to flip the direction of rotation, just check the reverse box. Let's accept and cancel out of the mate tool. Now if I grab one gear, the second gear rotates as well. Teeth intersect. Let's define the ratio a little bit differently. Right click on the gear mate and select edit. And let's use the number of teeth instead as the ratio. 18 on the big wheel to 9 on the second wheel. Tab to register, accept, and cancel out of the tool. OK, let's shift select these mates and suppress them. Now let's move this gear. I'm going to select this edge, rotate component, and let's rotate this gear a bit. OK, right click, unsuppress. Now if I move the big gear, the second gear rotates as well, even though the gears have no contact. And this concludes our lesson about creating gear mates.